I had like this weird feeling when I met with them that they might be mischievous and boy was I not even right I was wrong they were evil this is the story of the worst nanny job I ever had they were evil I think that it's been enough years that I can share this and I won't obviously reveal details. It was the first job that I had gotten contracted for. On paper, it was perfect. I met with the family, we got along great. The kids seemed super respectful and nice. I was working seven days a week for these people. After I was finished with school in the morning, I would go pick their kids up and then I was with them until nine or 10 at night. And on Saturdays, it was either six or eight hours and Sunday was a four hour shift. But if the parents were out of town, it would turn to 12 and 12. If children are bad, they'll be bad. It doesn't matter who's watching them. So during the first two weeks, you know, I thought when I send them to their rooms to do their homework after school, that's what they'll be doing. Turns out for two full weeks, all of them were escaping out onto the roof, jumping off of the house or however they were getting to the ground and going to play with the kids in their neighborhood. And I had no idea because they would rotate doing it. So when I would go check on them to make sure they were doing their homework or say, hey, do you guys need help with anything? They would say no. And so-and-so is in the bathroom right now. So I wouldn't go and check his room. It was insane. And then during the second week, I think all of them left and I figured it out and I was freaking out. So I'm driving around the neighborhood trying to find all these kids and they're at a friend's house who I had no clue who these people were. I have to go up to the door because I see them in the backyard and the mom answers the door and she's so confused because she's like, they said their nanny asked them to go play at our house every day after school. I have to end up telling their mom this and I'm like horrified because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm such a terrible nanny. Parents have a talk with all of us and they're very respectful towards their parents. So I just thought they had respect for me and that they understood the situation. They continue to do it. They continue to escape out onto the roof. And the reason that I knew that's how they were escaping is because I started sitting on the front porch steps to see how in the world they were getting out of the house. And I literally heard them whispering onto the roof, coming out of the windows, trying to jump onto the front yard while I'm sitting there. It was just one of the examples. Examples. Like it, it, there was so much that happened. It was crazy. Always asking me super inappropriate questions, especially about me specifically or girls at their school. I would always just have to say, we're gonna have to talk to your parents about that or please ask your mom and dad that. So two months go by and this is when I quit because there were just so many behavior issues and I could go into more detail, but I won't. I quit because I was never paid. In our contract we had agreed to at the end of the week, so Sundays I would be paid for all my hours during that week. And because this was my first job, I wasn't good with confrontation. I wasn't comfortable with saying, hey, I need to be paid. So I went two months without being paid and I finally let her know that, you know, I was going to have to find another job if she wasn't going to pay me. She hangs up, she says she'll pay me because she was out of town a lot so I didn't see her in person and I get a call from no caller ID so I answer it and it's like a super scary voice like an AI translated voice whatever on a computer and I can't specifically remember what it said but it's something about being paid or it's like a deep scary voice and I'm like am I getting punked by the kids like what is happening and how would the kids know about the conversation I just had with their mom like what's going on anyway I didn't tell her she pays me that night I tell her I'm quitting because too many things have been happening I mean that was genuinely like two instances of stuff that happened it was an everyday battle for me it was awful and then after I quit I start getting these calls like once a week and obviously I can't tie it to the kids or tie it to anyone because it's the spam call then finally they do one without the voice they didn't use caller id they knew it was them and they were cussing me out and they were calling me the b word and saying the f word and blah 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 blah, blah. i still have that voicemail because thinking about it i'm like what was going through my head to stay that long i've had several other nanny families since then i have a different one now and they're awesome but holy I was very young, that's just the truth of it, and I don't think that the kids ever at any point respected me in any way. Just make sure that you are truly trusting your gut because I had like this weird feeling when I met with them that they might be mischievous, and boy was I not even right, I was wrong, they were evil. Oh my god, it would just put you off being a nanny, wouldn't it? Like, I'm glad it hasn't because she's like, she said she's like five or six now, but I think, you know, being a nanny, they aren't there to wipe their backsides, they're not there home to the time. You are the parent at the end of the day. You need to make sure your kids are under control. The nanny is there to help, not parent. I think that is a very big significant, like, they're there to help, not be your parent. Um, but if they're escaping, the responsibilities of that, and like, the embarrassment of all being like, oh, the kids are here, and the lady's like, oh, they all, the nanny can come play around. I, if I was that parent, I'd be a bit like, why is their nanny saying that they can come play here? Like, she's a nanny, she should be looking after them. It's just embarrassing, really, and I think kids like that definitely need to be a big punishment. I think there needs to be rules, set boundaries. Um, you know, if they're not trustworthy, not trust to be sat in their rooms doing their homework, then they do it in the kitchen where the nanny can look at, like, keep an eye on them. And the fact, like, the parent weren't paying for two months as well, that's so disrespectful. 
literally so rude as well using petrol to go get your children you know gas whatever it is and you're not even coughing up i think it's really rude send in your videos to be featured on our channel thanks for watching awesome videos like, like and follow, follow.